Welcome to Market Masterclass. And today, from the world economy, we're, we're back in Asia. We're looking at uh, a country that's had uh, a lot of uh, traumatic history in the recent past. Uh, we're going to look at Vietnam. Vietnam was a major agricultural economy originally, then French went in there, it became a sort of French colony, they developed a, a different part of the economy. Then uh, there was the split between North and South Vietnam, there was the, um, the, the ghastly ongoing for many, many, many years, the Vietnam, Vietnam War, which finally finished in 1975, which caused uh, a mass of refugees worldwide, hundreds of thousands of refugees, in the days when refugees were accepted and welcomed worldwide by many countries. Completely different picture today. And uh, those Vietnamese who have settled all over the world um, have been very supportive of their economy back in their home country. And 44% uh, of the economy is still made up of agriculture. They have, uh, they uh, grow rice, coffee, rubber, cotton, tea, pepper, soybeans, cashews, sugar cane, peanuts, bananas, as well as poultry and fish. So uh, a big agriculture economy, uh, in industry makes up 23% now, it's been developing and is developing, services industry is 33%. Uh, foreign investment, a lot of foreign direct investment coming into the country, as I say, a lot of it from uh, Vietnamese refugees, well settled in countries all over the world. Uh, the World Bank is very supportive of the of the local economy, and uh, in terms of exports, the USA takes 21 percent. They're number one. Number two is the Economic Union, European Euro Union rather. Number three is ASEAN, and it's a member of the ASEAN community. Then you've got China, Japan, South Korea, Hong Kong, India, also uh, in the export, taking their exports. Uh, on the import side, China is the biggest one by far. 30% of uh, imports are from China. Then there's Korea, Japan, Taiwan, Thailand, Singapore. So. Uh, interesting economy, exports are clothes, marine products, computers, oil, electronics, rice, coffee, and machines. So they're doing pretty well in that department. Um, Goldman Sachs predicts that they'll be the 35th largest economy in the world by 2020. Price Waterhouse, um, they reckon that they're going to be the fastest growing emerging market by 2020, predicting growth of 10% uh, a year into the into the few years ahead 44 percent of the country uh, is uh, linked into the internet uh, it's rated to be currently 27th uh, largest economy in the asia pacific region um, and in terms of economic freedom uh, it's fairly uh, restricted in that department being a communist and a dictatorship uh, essentially uh, they reckon on economic freedom they're 131st, but since 1986, a massive reform program, they've opened up to the world economies, things are looking pretty healthy, and unemployment's down to 2%. Growth is, over the last five years, has been averaging 6% per annum. Inflation fairly high at 4%, a population of 91 million, but overall looking pretty healthy into the future and supported very much by many economies worldwide as a result partly of their uh, tragic past. Uh, they're in the limelight, they're doing pretty well and they're being well supported. So good luck to the communist dictatorship of Vietnam and their massive reform program and they're linking into the world economy and um, best of luck to them in the future. Thank you for joining us, hope you found that useful and interesting. Bye for now.